I loved asking questions and having awesome conversations with people. What this does is it builds your credibility. How cool would it be to say, hey, you know what? I've interviewed the chief economist at Fannie Mae. And in the last conversation, this is what we talked about. Don't you think that would give you a little bit of power in convincing investors or convincing homeowners or connecting with them and giving them the latest information because you're committed to their education? Absolutely. And I'm like, can I take back the yes? Is there any way we can kind of rewind and do all this? And he said, no, you're already committed, make it happen, it's gonna be great. So overnight, I was on the air. Major news, major media right now, everybody's saying the housing market. Oh, the housing market, it is terrible. Let's draw big red arrows pointed downward to show you how terrible it is. No, they don't know what they're talking about. They just want to pick on something. But it's selling. I wanted to focus my attention on delivering good content. Why? Because every time I go in the air, every time I write a piece of content, every time I speak with somebody, I put myself back where I was in Detroit. I'm gonna give you my best. Yeah, I might screw up, I might be quirky, I might wear crazy socks, I might be shorter than usual, thanks mom for being three foot two, right? But you know what, at the end of the day, I'm giving you my best, and that's what I know. What's the number of one objective of becoming an influencer? Content to help others, exactly. Here's the strategy. LinkedIn, it's, get, it's getting good here. Post once a day. You don't have to post twice a day. You don't have to post three times a day. If I'm in your way, just tell me. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> okay. Post once a day. Thought leadership content goes a long way here. You want to engage with your men members, add value to groups, and most importantly, use video. Most importantly, use video. Engaging with people is very, is very simple. You write a post, and guess what? You'll get comments. Engage with these comments. So do we want to write the post on LinkedIn or write something that you then drive back to the blog? Which you just said was just don't put the post on there. Let me clarify. There are two different buckets on LinkedIn. You've got your LinkedIn articles and you have your LinkedIn status updates, kind of like a Facebook post. I don't write LinkedIn articles. I will update my status update, like do a status post on LinkedIn. If I'm promoting something, then I'll say, hey Joy, check this out, check out this URL. But there's a secret to that. You know what the secret is? Does anybody know the secret to LinkedIn posts? No? You want to write about it, hit post, and then in a comment, you want to provide the URL. So for example, a post is going to be, uh, Chris and I did an awesome show this morning. It was fantastic. We had Joy as a guest. Uh, we had Ethan as a guest. And we talked about the Atlanta market through and through. Home sales are up. We're having a great time. To learn more or to hear the entire show, check out the link in the comments below.